Could have yeah, I like the uh, I like the TV show a little bit growing up, but I never uh, uh, never yeah, played I mean, any said, of the games or anything like I didn't, that like, though. Dig so into it or anything like that, but the I don't know, man. I don't really know what to expect. At least though, says PlayStation. Before the whole reboot crap, the show was epic. Yeah, I like the original. I don't know anything about the reboot to be honest. And welcome, Rue, by the way. Nice to see you here tonight, man. Now and it is bright as hell. Yeah, I've never uh. Like I didn't even uh, know there was a reboot. The slim release in 2004. Though. They need to just stop rebooting Going old TV Wikipedia shows. <laughs> they screwed up Teen Titan. All right, so first they we got apparently to screwed up Ben 10. Like uh, that's just that's what they like to do. Apparently, is just screw everything up. But seriously, the reboot sucks. Is it still just called Ben 10, or what is? Like I said, I don't know anything about it, man. <laughs> All right. I think we waited every uh, long enough for everybody to get in. The only person we're missing is Mr. Noodle, but she's being a slacker, I suppose. Looks like everybody else is here. Let's play some video games, shall we? Oh, wait. There's one more thing I actually need to do. Holy crap. Um, Do I have my sound card turned on? Or capture card. Sound capture card. Obviously, the actual capture card is turned on. Properties. Listen. I do. I guess there's just no audio in the beginning of the game here. Basically did the same thing they did to Teen Titans art and all. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, yep, that makes sense. There we go. Now we got a little bit of sound already. <laughs> oh, I don't know what it is exactly about the uh, the title screen here, but something already has me worried that this game is not gonna be amazing. <laughs> like, I, I don't know if it's how simple the the text and everything the title screen is here or the, the profile screen, if you will, or this little, I guess it's meant to be a, a TV screen or something like that. I don't know exactly what we're looking at. It's a, like a, a computer screen in this car, but ugh, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. This was a good show too. You like how they made Kevin part of the team instead of an enemy most of the time? I didn't watch enough of it to really know what you're talking about. Kevin, like, I don't remember who Kevin is. <laughs> I didn't watch a whole lot of, um, shit, what's, what, I'm forgetting. Ben 10, holy crap, man. My brain just died for a moment there. I watched it, like, whenever it was on, I'd watch it, but I didn't look for it or anything like that. Plus, uh, at some point, I don't remember when exactly, but at some point, I kind of stopped watching anything on cable, but... <laughs> do you need to move over here and smack me why do you never watch the good shit <coughs> i mean <clears throat> wow excuse me um yeah like i said i just kind of we got we still had cable but i just kind of it fell out of favor for me once i started to get a little bit older you know i watched a lot more youtube and uh movies and stuff like that and kind of stopped watching tv so i don't know uh, this is just back to the screen. Don't care about that. We got any options. Do we have maybe subtitles? We do, and they're on by default. That is perfect, actually. That's all we needed. Everything else is turned up all the way. That looks good. Let's get started. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Happy you can make it finally. Took you long enough, love. <laughs> just joking. Thank you for being here. All right. Let's see what we're getting into, man. I'm a little bit worried. I was kind of excited for it at first because, like, on the cover and everything, it looked decent. But, like I said, something about that that little uh, that little title screen whenever we first loaded in, it's got me a little bit worried that it's just going to be some shovelware they they toss out there for, for cash, you know, a quick cra cash grab. In your defense, you only got to watch certain shows. When you were in high school, you were only allowed an hour of TV a day. What the hell? Yeah, no, I never had any of those restrictions in place thankfully from my uh my mom whenever i lived with her or my granddad whenever i lived with him like i was allowed to watch as much tv as i wanted as long as i got you know like the the, the lawn mode and all that type of bs then they didn't really care what i did about time i said i i missed the message i'm sorry you be a judge on how well this does don't worry <laughs> okay appreciate that and that's just the beginning after i upgraded that kinocellar and drive unit I got more than 50% So that's Kevin, I'm assuming, power. right? Yep. The I dude there, the, the quote-unquote cool, cool the dude. Run for its money. And yet it can't get us to the amusement pier before I'm bored to tears. I don't remember inviting you along. If yeah, you don't I, like I was company, raised by my grandpa during the second half of my childhood, so... I understand what you're saying, but I don't know if he was, uh... I'm not stopping you. 
fine by I don't me. know if he was a little more relaxed with me than he was his own children or what, but Kevin, what is that? yeah, he was the pretty. He was a pretty chill dude. No, but you're not far off. It's a tracking system. I installed it this last week, but it doesn't track plumbers badges. It tracks uncatalogued alien tech stuff that might be valuable. What are plumbers badges? Um, you know, valuable for research and stuff. These graphics are yeah, scary. Well, whatever that is, it's powerful <laughs> and close. So not quite as out. good looking as the, the show is what you're saying? You. I'll meet you there. No just, need. Just a little Looks off. Like whatever it is, it's not far from the pier. We can be there in no time. Yeah, Kevin and I can stay in the car and watch you on the tracker. We'll keep in touch and give you a heads up if anything comes your way. I'm wondering how much... Okay. Oh, great. Forever nice. What was that? I Forever nice? The same thing we are. Well, I mean, that's we exactly what I was getting ready to say. I feel like I probably should have watched a little bit more of the show to really uh, appreciate what's going on in the game here. Because they're using things like like the plumber badges or whatever and, and the knights and all this stuff. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I am completely lost. Plumbers are international police for all alien species. It's a weird name. Definitely not as good as the show graphics wise. Yeah, I mean, I didn't honestly expect it to. Until the new South Park came, games came out, I feel like most games didn't, you know, really look as good as the show or movie or whatever they were based off of. But man, those South Park games look amazing. Um, and now, like, Toy Story and Kingdom Hearts 3, for instance, is just freaking beautiful, man. Uh, use the arrows to choose an alien form for transformation. Press R1 to transform to the selected form, okay? Oh, so we already have two different forms unlocked. That's cool. So, I'm assuming each form has, like, their own moves and stuff. We can collect stuff to refill stuff. Okay. Oh. Forever Knight. Toughness, strength, range, melee, speed. Stick of truth and fractured butthole. Yeah, th those are the ones. Press square to perform a light attack. Triangle to perform a heavy. Circle to perform special. Okay. <laughs> so it's like a is it like a beat em up style game or something? It's kind of what it looks like, like a side scrolling beat em up. Every time you defeat an enemy, you collect Omnitrix Omnitrix points, which increase your experience level so you can unlock new like combos. Side scrolling beat em up with some RPG elements. Okay, I can dig it. How do we? How do we cancel? the the form that i'm in like if i wanted to go into a different one how do we do that one two punch that's that's a fancy one right there palm fire x square x triangle is hot air x square oh okay that's cool but it looks like oh everything we do uses up our, our green stuff okay They did do an awesome on the new, all oh, the new South Park games, the new SP games. Yes, they look very, very faithful to the show, man. And at least the first one, I haven't played uh, Fractured Butthole yet, but the first one was actually a pretty fun game too. Press on one to block attacks. That's a weird way to block. We just stick our chest out and laugh when people hit us. What is that, man? <laughs> I don't, I don't think that's how you're supposed to block, man. Maybe, maybe put your arms in front of you or something at least. Just, get, just, <laughs> just getting stabbed repeatedly and laughing at people. That's uh. Oh, we can catch dudes on fire though. Oh, I thought they were dead to be honest. <laughs> I guess until they explode into some little yellow orbs, they're not really, not really dead. Oh, they're stuck spawning in. Okay. Do these guys have like teleportation tech or something, or why do they just keep appearing out of nowhere? Forever Knights and FYI are bad guys who use aliens to their advantage to take over the world. Government something. They actually imprisoned Dragon and the poor guy missed his kids growing up? What the hell? They just sound like bad dudes. <laughs> you don't even like South Park as a show that much, but the games are heckin' fun. I really liked the show for a long time. I haven't kept up with it, though. So I haven't seen any of the episodes in quite a while. Okay. So wait. Can we just kick dudes' butts as... <laughs> Okay, technically we can, but um, <laughs> it, it uh, probably isn't a great idea to do so, though. Oh, we can Naruto run! <laughs> 10 out of 10, best game. Oh, we have wings? It's 
not a robe, they're wings. What the hell? Your phone disconnects from Wi-Fi and then the stream went low. I'm sorry, love. Wonder why your phone disconnected. It's been working fine for me so far. Today. Okay, so there's an invisible wall every time we get too far, and now I can't collect the stuff. I want my stuff. Also, the combos are essentially the same between the two characters. They even do similar things, but for someone like me that has trouble memorizing combos and shit like that, I'm not really that mad about it. I'm assuming the elements will come into play, because it looks like this dude is uh, ice-based and the other dude was fire-based, so... At some point, you know, it makes sense if they had some sort of fire-based enemies. And you would need to use the, the ice dude to defeat them, or vice versa. Chiller Moth, is that what his name is? That's actually a pretty good name. Give it to him there. Yeah, so, uh, first impressions from the first ten minutes of playing the game. This totally feels like a cash grab. Like, <laughs> some... They knew. They knew that some little kids would just see this on the shelf and beg their parents to buy it for them. Like... But I don't know. Maybe maybe it gets much more deep as we go along, you know? <laughs> so we're a giant moth, but we can't fly. That's kind of lame. This is a really cool episode revolving around him where he basically ate everything and built a giant nest to lay eggs. It was hilarious since Ben is a dude and actually acted pregnant. Oh no. Pregnant Ben. Oh, I see that uh, up in the top right-hand corner too. It says press the start button to join. So it's... uh. Yeah, it's totally just a side-scrolling brawler game, man. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> that's that was good. I cannot. I cannot do depth. The depth just does not feel right. Time to yeah, but you can't judge it just yet. I mean, that's fair. Say so it could get better. I guess we'll uh, we'll find out. There's fire. Seems your Wi-Fi messes up more whenever I decide to stream. Your show is working fine until I started streaming. I mean, if maybe it's because I'm using up bandwidth. Alien form that could fly. Wait, can I actually fly? I'm red. Kind of. On my face, I'm red. <laughs> am, I, am I fast? Do I fly? I don't know. He ate a whole jar of pickles and drank the juice too. I mean, that's just me on a normal day. Like, I don't even have to be pregnant to do that. That's just... <laughs> you might finally be able to get the desktop you've had uh, your eye on. That's awesome. I hope you're able to get it. I hope it's as amazing as you, uh, as you, as you think it is. Bruh, I remember this ride. This was like the only ride at little fairs and shit like that that I ever actually enjoyed. The alien spaceship looking one where you would get in it and it would stick you to the wall as it spun around really fast. Then they have the open ones where you're just in a giant cage instead of uh, instead of it being you know, the closed off one like this. Both of those are a lot of fun. These are like the only ones I ever freaking enjoyed. I just, I know from from spending so much time at fairs growing up what fair people are like and i do not trust them to put together <laughs> rides for, for people to, to to be on you know because they miss one little bolt and that whole ride's coming down man <laughs> i just i can't swamp fire camp but he's referring to another one. Oh, well i want to be a fast red dude that can fly i'm still surprised that chiller moth or whatever his name is can't like he looks like he should be able to fly, you know? You're on the seventh chapter of your fairy tale game already. Hell yeah, dude. Do you know how many chapters there are in the game mode? In total? Holy crap, am I congested? What the hell? Oh, we unlocked a new combo. We can only select the combo for one person, though? I kind of like ch ch chiller, chiller Moth more. So I'm going to give it to him. What is it? Cold cocked. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Oh, it's a big chill. So cool name. Yeah, I mean, chill moth or chiller moth. Uh, honestly, I think it's better. But 
That's fine too, I guess. Is my voice a little low today? You mean like quiet or just the, the pitch of my voice? Because if I need to turn myself up, I can turn myself up. Okay. You feel like the gunshots are louder than you are? Oh. Yeah, okay. No problem at all. Something like, uh, something like that a little bit better, maybe? Turn yourself up and the gunshots down. I don't think there's any actual gunshots in the game. But, uh... <laughs> 16 gigs of RAM, 250 gig SSD, one or two terabyte hard drive, and it's only 240. It's from 2014, but tell me that's not a good one regardless. I mean, from what you've read off, that all sounds perfectly fine. Are you, uh, is it like a gaming PC? Does it have a graphics card or anything? Or are you just using it for school and stuff like that? Because, I mean, obviously, if it has, uh... If it's for gaming, then it's gonna mad depend a lot on what kind of GPU performance you got, but... You think you have this game, for real? Ben 10 Alien Force? Also, welcome, Dorseman. Glad you could be here, man. Much better? Good, good, good. Yeah, I don't know why I would have turned it down, but I must have turned it down at some point. My, uh my mic in OBS. I probably did it on accident one day, just not paying attention. Sometimes I don't feel like switching my input over to the HDMI, so I just end up using OBS to play video games while I'm on the computer. Uh, if I'm playing like a PS1 or 2 game, or PS5 even, or whatever. So, <laughs> sometimes I have OBS up even when I'm not streaming. So I probably just accidentally clicked on it while fucking around with something else. You unlocked another playable character? That's awesome, man. Wait, so you're dashing and playing. Does that mean it's a mobile game? You might have said so already. I just don't remember. Business computer, but you did find a video to update the card if you need to. Uh, don't die. Yeah, I mean, and honestly, like, a lot of games don't need super high-end CPUs or anything like that to be able to get 60 FPS. So, like... You could totally use a computer from 2014 and just swap in a higher-end graphics card or, or, you know, any graphics card and play modern titles at decent frame rates. So, like, that's not a bad way just to save money on a gaming PC even. Buy something from a few years back, throw in a semi-modern or, or mid-tier modern graphics card and go at it, man. You're a console gamer first and foremost anyways. Very true, very true. So it's fun to be able to play stuff on PC from time to time, because, you know, we just we get some cool games on PC sometimes. Or if it's a, uh, a release that, like, if you buy Sony consoles primarily or whatever, then you can buy Microsoft stuff on PC or vice versa. Oh, that's right, you got it on Switch. I think you mentioned that already. I just completely forgot. Oh, and mods. Yeah, I didn't even think about mods. <laughs> Dorseman running Windows 95 with AOL. Yeah, I built it for him. Like, two years ago. It was weird. I don't know why he asked for uh, a Windows 95 PC. But, uh, hey. I was uh, more than happy to oblige, you know? With Ask G's. Holy shit, man. That's a blast of the past there. Um, I'm flying. <laughs> I got stuck in between the two dudes and couldn't freaking move. Game is jank. I, I want to catch you on fire, please. I want to use Big Moth. Moth Bro. Uh, I forget the combo already. There it is. Or no, that wasn't a combo. I don't cold kick. Nope, that wasn't it. Was it triangle square? Triangle X. Triangle circle. Yeah, there we go. Bruh, we just sub-zeroed this dude. That's pretty cool, actually. I mean, it, I wish it wasn't just a giant block of ice. It would have been cooler if it was like a, uh, you know, just froze the dude. But whatever, I guess. Plumber's badge is temporarily double our attack. That's cool. I'll take it. I'll take that health even more because we were getting low, boy. 
We actually had to fix Jonathan's computer, Horseman's computer here, uh, probably tomorrow. Some trouble with the cooler he's been having. I'm also going to help him get set up so he can stream. It's not going to be a permanent setup for him, but uh, get him started with some stuff for now so he can get going and just do it a little bit whenever he has time and whatnot. Oh man, that's lucky your squad a teacher that brought in these laptops with Windows XP on them. You could have totally used those to play old computer games, but the school wouldn't let you buy them even after offering money and promising to let them totally clear the day they just threw them away. What a waste. See, I actually, I did get lucky when I was in middle school. That's how I got my computer because I, my grandpa did buy me a computer at one point, it, but it was really shitty and it broke after like two years. Um, he had a guy come in to fix it or whatever, but it just, it was, it was done. It was dead. And, uh, so for a long time, I didn't have any computer, but this computer teacher, I don't remember his name at the school that I went to, went to, he knew that I was into computers and whatnot and that I was, uh, less fortunate, let's say. So he worked out a program with the, the heads of the school to give away the old computers that they had, because they had a whole room stacked full of old computers and monitors and shit. And uh, all they made me do was sign a piece of paper and then they let me go in and take, it was either two or three of them. That way I could like swap out parts if anything was broken them or whatever. And he said that he was technically supposed to wipe them before he handed them over, but he didn't feel like doing that. So he just gave me a Windows 98 disc, I think it was. And was like, uh, here you go, you can just uh, install this and <laughs> and go from there. So, <laughs> um, But as it turns out, the disc that he gave me would fail to install. So I had to look up a hack to disable the security system that they had on the computers. <laughs> so they inadvertently taught me how to defeat the school's security system that they had. It came in handy a few years later because we needed to install Adobe Flash for class to do some stuff. And every single day we would have to reinstall Adobe Flash because whenever the scheduler would run on it every night, it would wipe everything that you did on it at the day. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> if you turn back into Ben in this game, you can use a lightsaber? No, you can't. There's no way you can, Dorseman. I was Ben for a short period of time, and I did not have a lightsaber. <laughs> Maybe later on in the game or something like that, unless I'm missing something. But if I can cut dudes in half with a lightsaber, I'm totally down to do that instead. He called me ugly. Why are you hanging out with him? He did not call you ugly. He said he found an ugly painting and then held up a mirror. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> Reminds you of your uncle's Dell Inspiron 1525 last few years before Windows corrupted. Yeah, that's basic. It was a Dell too that I had. I don't remember which one exactly, but it's a bit of a security risk, but fair enough. All of our stuff was ran off of servers anyways. So the actual stuff on the computers was uh, just basically a base Windows install and then whatever security system they use. I forget the name of it, but it was a piece of software that it had a snapshot of the computer and um, every night it would run on a schedule or if you restarted it, it would also do it. It would just restore from that snapshot. So anything you installed on it would be completely wiped and, and taken out and then just be reverted to that base because all of the actual like computer or school files and everything were all stored on a server. And uh, yeah, nothing was supposed to be stored locally, but as a sys major, that hurts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, didn't we already unlock Big Chill? Wasn't that the, the, the ice thing? So why would we want to unlock the same combo again? Question mark? Uh, maybe that's not the one we had. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, no, it wasn't. Oh, well, oh, well. Hey, we are just, uh, we're investing in a bit of a variety, right? Because we don't know for sure who we want or what we like yet, that's all. Also, I know I'm taking my time because I'm talking a lot and whatnot, but man, I feel like this level is taking forever. We're gonna, we're gonna test, uh, Dorseman's theory here. You guys like this uh, this lightsaber action we got going on right now? <laughs> he doesn't have a special attack. His special attack is dodge roll. <laughs> that's that's nice. 
Yeah, Jonathan. Sorry to uh, sorry to call you outdoorsman, but um, no lightsabers here, bud. Your campus closed due to weather tomorrow. Yeah, we're supposed to get hit with uh, some snow here soon too. Honestly, um, not tomorrow, but like very late tomorrow, we're supposed to to get hit with some. But I was saying earlier, I don't know if you're in stream or not. It's one of those things where like. The one news channel will say we're getting next to nothing. Another news channel says we're getting, you know, over a foot of snow. So it's just like, we really don't know how bad we're going to have it yet. I'm just not doing it right. Teach me your ways, Dorseman. Teach me your ways, sir. Um, okay, that's an invisible wall. Can't go over there, I guess. Uh... No, wait, that's not a combo. That's just a normal special move from him. So, what the hell was the combo that we unlocked? Light, heavy, special, one, two, uppercut, dig it. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong dude. Headbutt, cold, cooked. Square and then triangle. Square and then triangle. Oh, yeah, okay, so he just, he puts like a, a spike ball of ice on his, on his fist. <laughs> See, they have lightsabers. They're doing it right. Why are you like this, Jonathan? You could just you could just tell me your secrets, but no. It's that uh that scene from Spider-Man. Just okay, then keep your secrets for Oh, did we die? Do we have lives in this game? It doesn't look like it. Can we die? Like actually die die or no? I feel like we would just respawn forever then right which honestly since it looks like this was made for kids i'm not that upset about plus i get annoyed whenever i'm playing a game and uh i i, I game over and have to start over from the beginning again i think it's a jonathan thing to be annoying as much as possible just as your friend <laughs> jonathan is i like jonathan a lot he is not annoying at all he is the best person anybody could ever be friends with and i'm not just saying this because he's my co-host and uh <laughs> and works with me on video game projects <laughs> noodle gonna be hurt by that he called me ugly <laughs> you know he didn't mean it he was just being funny. That's his that's his shtick. He's the funny guy. It's the the classic, hey, look at this. There's there's this thing in this picture and then hold up a mirror. That's all it was. You are breathtaking, Noodle. See that? See, is that better, love? Do you feel better now? Oh, what is this? <laughs> I just go underground and then just uppercut him from from the depths. He's a great guy. See, he's making up for it. <laughs> uh, using Keanu's words to your advantage. I don't think uh, Noodle knows that that clip though from E3. She's not much of a gamer, you see. So, Dorseman, I, I gotta ask, though, you said you think you had this game. Did you get it, like, recently? <laughs> because you thought it was gonna be a good game? Or did you get it when you were, like, younger or something and then just, uh... Just recently play it? Because, uh... One thing I will say about Jonathan, as much as I like him, he's got some, uh... He's got some weird taste in video games sometimes. We don't always agree on what exactly a good video game is. Also, I kind of like, other than how weak he is, I kind of like just using uh, Ben 10 there, man. He's uh, He's got some quick hits. Not nearly as slow as these other dudes are. It was recent, you think, but you haven't played it yet? Well, there you go, man. We can. Uh, this can be another game we cover for the podcast. <laughs> uh, I still like. I still like Big Chill more. We're going to get chill out. How bad of taste? It's pretty bad. <laughs> what was that? Uh, he he doesn't like Sonic, right? He doesn't think Sonic's a good game. He said that's one he wouldn't play again, um, or wouldn't play just when we're level up. Ukulele, 
He didn't like ukulele. He said that's another one he wouldn't play just one more level of. Um, but what was that terrible game that we played? I can't remember. I can't remember which one it was. But there was one that was just absolutely... Earthworm Jim is another one. He, uh, he, he was, he was into Earthworm Jim, even though I think he admitted that it wasn't really a good game, but he was like, yeah, totally, I'd play more of it. Like, <laughs> it's so bad, man. Now, I'm a little bit biased because I got a, a big glitch in it, but that kind of screwed it for me. Want a Sprite Cranberry? That's a, uh, reference to our, our Christmas episode from, uh, I guess we didn't do a Christmas episode this year, did we? So last year. So far, you're disappointed disappointed by a lack of a story. Yeah, like I said, I feel like this uh, level is super long, isn't it? You're supposed to play Toki Tori? We will. We're doing mostly PS2 games this year. But we already said that we are going to... Uh, we're going to be doing... Maybe you should come back later. Looks like a job for Spider Monkey. Okay. But we're going to be doing the requests and things that we, that we had that we just never got around to still. But... Not too into Sonic. Never heard of Ukulele and Earthworm Jim. Why does that sound familiar? So, I mean, Sonic isn't my favorite platform or anything, but I still think it's a good game, you know? I don't think it's bad. I just think it's not as good as the other one. Ukulele is basically just, um, Banjo, Banjo Tooie, Banjo Kazooie. And I can help. It's uh, it's a lot of fun, honestly. Earthworm Jim is an old Sega platformer that wasn't very good, in my opinion. And the animations were extremely good in it, but other than that, it just wasn't great. Jet Ray, that's the bitch. I, he's the flyer. Oh, okay. <laughs> WTF is that forearms? He's so chunky. I don't know. <laughs> As someone that. I don't know if I ever watched Alien Force once they were older like this. I uh, have absolutely no idea what is up with forearms. Forearms are normally muscle. I don't know, man. Oh, I don't know what move I just did there. Chill out. So what, that's like an AoE stun? I don't know how I feel about that move. Like even the girls are, so they're, they're tall dwarves. You've never seen one look like that? I mean, look, they, they took a little bit of a uh, creative license with the video game here, I guess. Just uh, go in your cube and don't come out until you learn the errors of your ways. Uh, bruh, were you not listening? Nah, they tall walking bodybuilders. <laughs> oh, Scooby-Doo Mystery, that was the one that I was trying to think of. Yeah, love Scooby-Doo. Obviously, we've talked about that in this uh, in the live streams a couple times now. Absolutely adore Scooby-Doo stuff. But Scooby-Doo Mystery on the Super Nintendo, I think it was, right? absolute garbage <laughs> like it is so bad from a gameplay perspective man you die in like three seconds from unavoidable enemies the enemy placement is ridiculous the gameplay is slow and repetitive it's just it's not good you're agreeing with them no just because it's scooby-doo does not mean it's a good game all right not everything from a franchise that you love has to be good. <laughs> like, <laughs> I am and you can't stop. You're right. I can't stop you, but I can say that you're wrong. <laughs> because you most definitely are wrong. The only redeeming things about that game was the fact that it was part of the Scooby-Doo license, man. Like, in your opinion? Yeah, but that works both ways, you see. <laughs> Um, so I'm glad I came over here and found some boxes, but like, where am I going? Also, why did the camera just, why is the camera zooming in like this? What? <laughs> I hope you like, uh, Big Chill or whatever the hell his name is, Bass, because we're getting a nice view of it there. Can we switch to, uh, I want to, I want to see this one in, in Glorious. Oh, what? It doesn't zoom in on Swamp Fire. That's... <laughs> what is... What is that? Trash. I wanted to see some swamp fire ass. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. No. Box Lunch has a cute Funko with Scooby holding a sign saying Rut Road's cute. Box Lunch actually has a lot of really cute stuff. Am I going up in the truck? On the truck? Over the truck? I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. Do we go back to the beginning of the game? 
anybody who was paying attention to the story, do you know what the hell we're supposed to be doing? Okay, well, nope, I can't go back to the beginning, so we're not going that way. Ben's ass is lackluster. I have no comment. <laughs> Christian, you're getting sent to Dr. Phil's rehab ranch. I don't know what that means. I don't watch Dr. Phil. I need an attitude adjustment. What? <laughs> Why? Because y'all like shitty video games? <laughs> or one shitty video game, at least? Uh, no, I can't remember. You'll find it, Ruth. Thanks, Noodle. I don't know what we're doing, either. Okay, what about Ben? Can Ben go in the truck? Maybe? Can Is Ben old enough to drive? I mean, he looks like he's old enough. He's probably, what, like 16 here, right? Fran said he sends trouble teens. Stream them fighting words. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. Um, well, guys, this was a fun experience. I'm glad we uh, played this game. <laughs> I, uh... Huh. Yeah, there's an invisible wall completely stopping us from going back over that way. Can't do anything with the door. Especially Miss Cash Me Outside. How about that? I miss I'm having sex and smoking weed because mommy says it's okay at 14. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think them parents need to go to some sort of ranch, man. Who tells their 14-year-old kid that it's okay for them to start having sex and smoking weed? Like, not that either one of those things is necessarily all that bad. But, like, at 14, just telling your kids, yeah, go ahead, go do it. Like... Some parents shouldn't be parents. I agree with you there. What are we doing? I'm about to look up a game FAQ on freaking Ben 10 Alien Force because we killed all the dudes. That uh, one's blocked. Oh. Oh, we can also use the right stick to change our alien and select it. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but... Not to mention it was totally illegal at the time, so your mom or her mom is lucky she didn't get arrested. That's odd. Very, very odd, but. Okay, Gamma FAQs it is, I guess. <laughs> I am completely lost. It's uh it's been over a half hour anyway, so we should probably take a really short break. I've been trying to take a little bit less and just kind of let the pre-roll ads run, but I don't know where we're going or what we're doing. I am so lost, man. So uh yeah, I'm gonna run an ad just kind of while we sit here and look this up, and then I'll keep BSing though in the meantime. Because why not? Mom was having sex parties and her daughter was partaking at 14? Like, it's, it's one thing to tell your child, like, hey, sex is natural, and if you want to be having it, that's okay. A little young to be telling your kids that, but having them partake in sex parties? Like, I'm assuming if the mom was having sex parties, there were adults there, you know? That seems like a little bit much. Just saying. Uh, okay, so Ben, 10, Alien Force. All I'm saying is that mom might still need to go to jail. <laughs> Alien Force PS2 game FAQ. Have I tried using the lightsaber? I, uh, if you would tell me how to, I would love to, but you, you haven't told me how to yet, man. Okay, there's nothing on game FAQ. <laughs> Let's check a, a walkthrough. Gotta, gotta pull up that YouTube video real quick. Hold on. Okay, nope, that's the next level. That's still... Okay, okay, hold on. I'm, I'm watching the part right now where we were at. Let's turn up the playback speed so I'm not sitting here watching this all day. He normally has the parents go to therapy. They really do need to. Destroy both security cameras. Oh. Wait, what? And how did... It looked like they got... It looked like they were able to bring up the... Uh, whatever the objective is, too. And the gameplay footage there. How do we destroy... I want to hit the security camera, please. Is it already destroyed? Stream sucks at gaming, example two. <laughs> Why do you keep track of this? <laughs> None of you knew what you were doing either, or what needed to be done. I 
feel like, okay, okay. So it, that one's dead, dead now. We got this. There we go. Thank the, 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 whatever you believe in, because <laughs> that was ridiculous. Oh boy. Because you can, I'm fair, honestly, I guess I, uh, <laughs> I can't argue with that. Um, I don't appreciate you with your, your little glowing, what is it, what are those called? Like, mob, mob or whatever? The stones on a stick? Or I guess it, it could usually probably be made of, like, steel or something, not stone, but you know. Spiky balls on a stick? One of your faves, Mr. Noodle, was the girl that was pregnant with Jesus' baby. Think it up being gas or what? What? <laughs> this is why I never watch reality television of any sort, including Dr. Phil. Like, <laughs> that is so stupid. A girl thought she was having Jesus' baby because she had gas? Like, no. That can't be real. Like, people are just making stuff up so that they can be on TV. That, that's... I refuse to believe anything else. She was also Eminem's daughter. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Woman who insists she was pregnant for like five years, but no matter how many ultrasound, ultrasound she did, there was nothing and no one could convince her otherwise. People are actually crazy. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. That one's... That one's weird. <laughs> Eminem's kid. I don't think she was actually Eminem's kid. I, I think Mr. Noodle was saying that they just believed they were Eminem's kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your favorite book, The Reincarnation of Pocahontas? Like, I, I honestly, at this point, I can't tell if Dorseman is just making something up or if that's actually, like, somebody that was on the show. Because, like, with all the other ridiculous things y'all are saying, it could just as easily be somebody who actually believes that they're, they're Pocahontas reincarnate, reincarnated. Like, that would not shock me at this point at all. You legit got concerned for a moment? Oh, see that attack looks like it should be much more epic than it is. Like, we, we bend over and like charge up and everything and then it's just a very slow wave of ice that comes out of us. Like, that's a little bit of a letdown there. Dr. Phil is a trip. It was a thing for real. No. <laughs> People are ridiculous, man. Ah, stupid invisible walls. I wanted to see that animation as we were walking downstairs again because it looked it looked funny. Our wings opened up like the game thought we were falling for a moment. I can't... <laughs> There's little voice clips every now and then in the background I'm noticing that are uh, seem a little interesting. Dr. Phil is a trip, so fun to watch, haha. I mean, if you say so. <laughs> I think I would just get annoyed with these people. I feel like, like the Cash Me Outside girl, honestly, half the time I think was just doing it as a, as a play to get famous, to get recognized. I wonder like if it's the same for everybody on there though, honestly, like how staged the show is. Like uh, Jerry Springer. We all know Jerry Springer's fake as hell. I feel like Dr. Phil probably is too. Dr. Phil was sexy for a while on TikTok. I refuse to believe that. Ain't nobody out there. Well, I mean, like, maybe people of a certain age or something, but TikTok's mostly younger people, and I just refuse to believe people our age or younger would find Dr. Phil sexy. <laughs> I mean, hey, if that's what you're into, if that's your kink is Dr. Phil, I ain't gonna sit here and kink shame you, you know? That's perfectly fine, but, uh... I, I refuse to believe it until somebody comes out and tells me that they are sexually attracted to Dr. Phil. <laughs> Freezing Blast. If this move doesn't look awesome, I'm going to riot. Square, triangle, circle. I got to... Probably going to forget that, but... Oh. Hey, right, cutscene. Here's your Thank story, Rue. Hope your, you like it. You're just as skilled as they say. Ben, ben Tennyson. 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 Do I know who you are? No, but I know you. More accurately, I know, uh, knew your grandfather, Max Tennyson. Do you like the episodes where they would catch up with some of the people when the 14-year-old did come back a few years later and can't believe she was like that? 
That's always nice to see. That is nice. It's nice to see that people realize that they were freaking idiots. <laughs> name is Gorvan. I presume this is your cousin Gwendolyn. And, she, and then she said, she's the one who made him famous? No. <laughs> what? Is that really something that, uh, something that she said? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Dorseman. About, uh, Springer. I only just arrived back on Earth. And Girls are putting on bald caps wearing blazers and fishnets with hooker heels. <laughs> oh no. What the hell? Oh, Nate, you Trust said the same thing too. Yeah. Yeah, I know who y'all are talking about. Just because he's got bad a baby. Badge doesn't That's mean he's really a dumb. No. Well, this guy is sauce just a little bit. Though not exactly tactful, is right. You deserve an explanation. First. I'm pretty sure Noodle does. Like I said, I don't know him well, but I know him. My patrol sector, but I was dispatched here on an urgent mission. What kind of mission? Have you ever heard of a race of aliens that calls themselves the Hybrid? Yeah, we've dealt with those creeps before. Grandpa Max was investigating them before. You if you didn't make me watch it, Noodle, you anyway, told me all about it, one or the other. More and more often lately. Was also a phone guy. I don't remember. He may have been at one point, but there's been a lot of phone guys, so. Like this one. That's a pyronite plasma oscillator. Even I wouldn't mess with something that dangerous. What does a hybrid want with that? Why does Kevin know so much about uh, alien tech? We're not sure, but there are several other alien components the hybrid are supposedly looking for. I'm hoping we'll find some clues along the way while we're retrieving the other components. Kevin's an alien? Holy shit, man. Yes. That's that a plot twist right there. You, your cousin, and your <laughs> friend here wouldn't mind. He has five balls? Go a lot I mean, wait, is that not normal? While I coordinated from the local somebody, base. somebody tell me that's normal. You bet. No way. Two to one. Overruled. I mean, he looks a little alien. <laughs> you don't remember the hybrid? Kevin was a runaway who ended up trapped in space for a very long while. And he is actually part alien. Oh, interesting. So did, like, his, his mom or dad get probed and that's how he was born? Like, <laughs> you know? UFO came down and, uh, did their thing? He worked a bunch of cell places. I, just I could see him doing that, in, but I don't back. know for sure. Anybody ever tell you your priorities are a little out of whack? Dropping in to ask Anybody about your car's extended you warranty. Good Anybody ever tell don't believe Dorseman, he's full shit. I mean, yeah, he kind of is. <laughs> also, welcome, Dors Lady. Happy to see you here. Think he works at a thrift store now? Yeah, 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 that's, that's, that's them, Nate. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna talk about people <laughs> live, but I've heard some things come out of his mouth that I just don't believe, so. Doris Lady, that's my wife. <laughs> yeah, get it, Doris Man, Doris Lady, and uh, sooner or later there will be a Doris Baby. Spider Monkey is a multi-limbed marsupial who resembles a cross between an Earth Monkey and a giant spider. He uses his superhuman agility to cling to walls and fling out spider silk as hard as steel cable to pull himself up to high locations. His skill webbing, silk webbing, eh, words, uh, also empowers him to entangle enemies and swing them around like yo-yos. Doris Lady, your husband called me ugly. <laughs> that's, that's not exactly what happened. <laughs> Stream can't speak English, example three. Look, one of these days, I'm just going to learn another language and start speaking that on stream. I'll start speaking freaking Japanese to y'all. <laughs> Probably do better at that than I do English. Doris Baby Lucy. I, I'm still going to struggle to not call your baby Gwen Stacy all the time. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the type you can have a great convo with or instantly want to punch. I can see why you would say that. <laughs> That's all I'll say about uh about that. Humongousaur's attacks can smash through obstacles that other characters cannot destroy. Humongousaur. That's a name. Humongousaur is so cool. Uh, I'll take your word for it. 
I'm assuming he's a humongous dinosaur, but I don't know. He's literally a giant. That was my nickname in high school. What, literally a giant or humongous or? <laughs> yeah, nice place if you're a bat. This place is huge. Nice place if you're a bat. Uh, sick burn on Batman there. This is just the main level. Both. <laughs> structure extends deep into the caves below. I think it's been hours. Dinosaurs are cool. I agree, Noodle. Dinosaurs are cool. There is no time for that. Even modern day dinosaurs, those are cool. To locate the alien devices I've been sent to retrieve. Like, you know, chickens, turkeys, one, things like that. Cool things, man. In a wooded area they taste good, too. Here. That's Avalon Forest. Yeah, the Forever Knights have been using that place as a hideout. It does me. make me wonder no problem, what, like, a, a uh, original dinosaur would have tasted like, you know? Well. Would they taste like chicken? The or would back. they taste more like well, alligator or crocodile or something, you know? Personally, like Echo Echo because of how loud he is. Okay. I don't know who that is either. For nothing. You're welcome. Glad we could help you out, Tennyson. Why do these dudes just appear out of thin air? That's bullshit. I want your teleporter technology. Also, I'm convinced at this point it's impossible to die because we ran out of health a couple times uh, and had absolutely nothing negative happen <laughs> when we did. We just turned into Ben and then uh, 30 seconds later we're able to turn back into an alien again. <laughs> so... He's literally a screaming alien. I mean, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> oh no, not the Wendigo territory again. You guys with your weird beliefs. This girl had a jawline that could cut glass. I don't know who you're talking about. I was paying no attention. <laughs> I think Nate's gonna be okay, guys. I wouldn't worry too much. What about a Wendigo? Uh, Nate believes Wendigos are real and that he's gonna be attacked by one whenever he's outdoor dashing. <laughs> you already crapped on the graphics yourself? Yeah, the game doesn't exactly look amazing. I'm, I'm, at this point, after just playing through the first level, admittedly, but I'm, uh, I'm like 90% certain this was just a cash grab of a game, man. Floating Omnitrix points usually show the best path through a tricky area. Okay. Shun the non-believer. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> guys, <laughs> I completely understand and agree that there are definitely things out there that we have not yet discovered but like wendigos living in our backyard like <laughs> come on come on you know you'll be fine just don't stop now you remember the high breeze creepy multi eyed moth dudes what take out the horse they're pretty easy to deal with mounted forever nights okay uh, so the monkey, is he any good for combat? Did he just fart on them? Or was that, uh, maybe that was like a donkey kick. Oh, he shoots web out of, is that his tail or his ass that he's shooting that web out of? <laughs> Both, technically? Ooh, okay. Hydrate? Okay, I'll hydrate. That's actually a good idea. I haven't had anything to drink since uh, since I've gotten stream, so... <laughs> it doesn't pop up on screen, so I don't see it. Just looking out for me? Well, I appreciate that. Wonder how high this will get if I keep track of him? Depends how long you keep watching me because it's gonna keep happening. I guarantee you that. Don't feel bad, Doris Lady, he ignores me too. What are you talking about? When have I ignored you? 
That's where they all live, you're- <laughs> Y'all are on drugs. <laughs> I love the way when we were punching him, the dude just wasn't reacting at all. Like, at all, man. Have a nice trip. I kind of want- just because of how ridiculous the monkey is, I kind of want to keep powering him up. But I definitely like Big Chill more. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I want. You never pen pay attention to any of us redeeming stuff unless me or Nate are redeeming sing mode because he fears it. That's why I don't pay attention to uh to the stuff people redeem because I don't want to see the the the, the sing mode. Are you sure you want to unlock the select combo? Yes, I want to unlock sh shattered. <laughs> Not driving at all, ran out of gas. Holy crap, man. I hope you're close to a gas station. I see you said that you're close to civilization still, but uh, I hope you uh, are close to a gas station at least, because, yeah. Get froze, bitch. Kind of ironic. I like the cold weather though, Rue. Honestly. Like, uh, I'm into it, man. I honest, I mean, obviously I don't like when it gets, like, below zero Fahrenheit. Like, it gets too cold at a point. But around freezing temperatures are honestly kind of nice. Hey, I froze that dude for a reason. Also, talk about lightsabers, dude. These night guys here have, uh, some hella lightsabers. Oh, I need to see how big Moth blocks. Because the other one just laughs at you when you block. What does what does the moth do do? Absolutely nothing. He just he just sits there. Forever. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely be safe, Nate. You've been struggling with the cold weather this year? You're freezing right now? She has been. She's been extra cold this year. I don't I don't know what's up with Noodle. I think she's on drugs, guys. I don't know what that was we just picked up. I'm assuming it was a uh, a refill for our alien transforming powers. You hate the heat and summer. You overheated in eighth grade before your town's local parade and almost had a heat stroke. Haven't been the same since. I don't think I've ever had heat stroke, but it doesn't change the fact that I still just hate the freaking heat, man. Like, <laughs> I love that I can just poop out web at people. Like, <laughs> it's so ridiculous. What is his, uh, what are his special attacks? So, he does a bunch of air punches. Okay. Ah, uh, spider bungee? Speaking of uh, spider stuff, though, Dorseman and I plan on reviving the podcast here soon. Starting off our uh, new season with, well, whatever game we did last time that I've already forgotten. But then Spider-Man, man. What do you mean? Stretch. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can stretch. <laughs> oh. My back probably cracked like 15 times. That that felt nice. That felt nice. Oh. There you go. We're stretched. We're hydrated. That just means you needed it. Yeah, honestly, I did too. I really did. I just... The human spider? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. You have a 10-foot blanket to help you out? I still don't know who in their right mind needs a 10-foot blanket. It's larger than a king-size blanket. Like, this thing is massive, guys. But she's in love with it, so I'm, uh, I'm happy I could get her something she loves. Also, I just realized Spider Monkey has extra arms. I guess they did say that he's like a cross between a spider and a monkey. I guess that's probably where he gets his name from, huh? you need to do the break thing? Uh, while I was watching the walkthrough for the game, I ran an ad then. 
so we're actually, we have like another 20 minutes before we, I'm sorry, another like 10 minutes before we technically need to take another one. Yep, yep, we're good. People are 10 foot tall. I mean, that makes sense, honestly. Uh, I didn't think about that, and that's, uh, that's heightest of me. <laughs> to not consider the, the 10 foot people of the world, all, what, six of them. They need blankets too. You want that big blanket now? It's a... Uh, it's a blanket. <laughs> Town never would, sadly. It's brought out a shit ton of tourists as one of your biggest money things. Yeah, that's, uh, I feel like, what some of the fairs around our area are like. Some of the biggest money makers for the towns that host them. Bedtime. Good night, everyone. Good night, Doris Lady. Thank you for stopping in, man. Appreciate it. Noted and how dare it. Wait, what? What did I do? <laughs> oh, because I was being heightest. Yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize, guys. Me and the cats love it. Only an early appointment. Good luck and good night. YouTube Dorisman, and I'll see you tomorrow, bud. Hope everything goes well at the appointment tomorrow. And I'm excited to see y'all. Um, okay, the arrow pointed to the right, but it looks to me like we need to go up. So, I'm not sure, but, uh, I think it might have been wrong. Also, we can't jump that high as, uh, Ben now, can we? Uh, I'm assuming we gotta use the spider monkey to climb up the vine stuff here. Okay. I mean, the terrible puns are pretty nice. <laughs> I do, like, absolutely terrible puns. And that was 100% a terrible pun. Okay, the controls are hmm, definitely need some some work. They they leave something to be desired. I was trying to jump over here and just completely grabbed onto that wall. What does this give us? Every yellow plumber's badge you collect increase the amount of recharge you get from Chrono Crystals. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay, can't complain about that. So far, your review is more story needed and less level. Yeah, I I think I pretty much agree with you on that one there, Rue. Um, but, I don't know. Like, <laughs> what gameplay is here even isn't amazing. Like, it works, right? It's okay, at least. I've definitely played worse games. But, uh, I feel as though it could be far better. Also, I'm glad my second jump just refused to register there. While I was trying to get up, that's uh, that's nice. What time am I planning on being done? Do you have time to get a shower before you get yours? Yeah, I mean, I usually stream for about two hours, and we start at 11:30, so you got about 45 minutes, Noodle, if you want to uh, if you want to go get your shower. And then, I mean, I don't have to get my shower as soon as I get off stream either, so you got some time. No problem, love. Pun made it a bit better. Agreed. Eight out of ten. Good pun. All puns are good puns. Well, all bad puns are good puns. <laughs> the worse the pun, the better the pun. Definitely feels like a cash grab off the popularity of the show. Yeah, 100%, man. That's, that's gotta be what it was. I don't think they were trying to make a serious game here. Because, I mean, I don't know how well you'd be able to follow the show and make a good game. But Ben 10 is a, a perfect property to turn into video games right with all the different aliens that he can turn into and you could collect them instead of just like randomly unlocking them it could be like the show where you're you're hunting around collecting them and shit and then you could have like a bunch of cool metroidvania elements and whatnot to it to uh for for replaying or going back to other areas with with new abilities and whatnot like you could have some fun with it okay then one okay then i'm gonna get one do it noodle do it and love it i think we're gonna spread it out a little bit we'll, we'll, we'll give spider monkey some love i've been using him a lot lately i feel like he takes a lot more damage than the other ones though i don't know like is there any way for us to see a list of these guys because i'm assuming they have different strengths and weaknesses and whatnot but i don't really see anywhere that says what they are Nike, just do it. That time you got here. <laughs> so, what now? EA. Wait for a break in, in the traffic game. and head through the gate? 
No way. You Getting a hold of AAA. Oh yeah, I forgot you said you had AAA. Now that's nice, man. easy to me. I uh, didn't really want AAA this year, but I got it. <laughs> I got it given to me. I would have rather had the money to be honest, but I guess if I ever need it, it'll be nice to have it. You try to get through without armor, you'll get zapped into next week. So what now? Okay, so don't go through big glowing gates unless you have armor on. Just say where you are, and I'll put the gates out of commission. Wait, is 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 Kevin gonna beat the gates till they're out of commission? Like, what was with that fist thing that he did there? Did I check to make sure my AAA card wasn't something in the mail? No, I did not. <laughs> I did not check at all, Noodle. <laughs> Oh, we're actually playing as Kevin now. Okay. Kevin can't change. Kevin can change to wood, stone, and metal when he is near special change objects. To change forms, move near a change object. Press R1 to change that form. Is that something he can do in the actual show? Change into two different things? Haha. -ha. Okay, no. I've seen if you could, uh, like, infinitely jump from pausing, because <laughs> for some reason, I don't know, I feel like that's something that you would be able to do in this game. Uh, so I'm assuming that's stone and that's metal. What happens if we try to go through a stone? Try this on for size. Okay, we just take a little tiny zap. Fine. This is Kevin's absorption ability. Ooh. So it is something he can do in the show. Okay. That's neat, I suppose. You're glad they're consistent with that stream, really? I just wanted to see what it did, man. <laughs> I wanted to see us get vaporized, but. Forever Night Ninjas are fast and very dangerous. They're Forever Night Ninja. Fighters, so stay that... away from those katanas. Why does that make me think of something? Is this alien DNA at work? Forever Night Ninja. Also, we're like made of metal. Can they even hurt us right now? No, they can't. They actually can't hurt us, but they uh, wear down our whatever our absorption is whenever we get hit. So, okay, that's kind of neat, I suppose. And it makes sense, you know, you would think uh, made of solid metal or whatever, you wouldn't really be hurt by a sword smacking into you so much. Had a cop pull in to check on you, then pulled out, didn't notice your plate, pulls back, gets your ID and all, then sees your plate, checks your card, pulls back out, thought your water was beer for a second till you handed it to him. <laughs> you, uh, you drinking on the job there, Nate? Come on, man. You're better than that. <laughs> Look, it's okay to have a little drink every now and then, but, uh, just wait till you're done driving for the night, all right? Don't remember that from the show, but that's cool. Okay. What, him being invulnerable when he's in the, the different states? Heaven forbid you hydrate while working. Yeah, don't you know you're not allowed to drink water, Nate? Not while you're working, man. Just don't drink anything. Just stop drinking. Who even drinks stuff these days, you know? You're trapped in the coffee, just like you're sus, even though you have perfectly good reasons. Yeah, that does kind of suck. <laughs> I mean, if you were if you were drinking on the job or while driving in general, it probably is best that he uh, checks that, but yeah. Why would your water look like beer, though? Do you have that uh, liquid death water or something like that? Is it in a can? Because, like, if it's a bottle, why the hell would he even suspect it of being alcohol, you know? It was liquid death. Okay. He was like, you know, you can't have an open container, and you were like, it's water and hand in the can. He was reasonable, though. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's nice of him, I guess. I wonder, from the sound of it, though, I wonder what he would have done if it was alcohol. It sounds like he would have just been like, man, come on. <laughs> no, you can't be drinking out here. <laughs> Still want to try like, but death? We'll have to one of these days. I never think about it whenever we're up around there, though. The 
up around uh, sheets or anything. If you can move one onto the panel and complete the circuit, it might activate the elevator. Okay. How do we move it? I see it lighting up. Oh, that's his special ability is grab. Or no, okay, his special ability is roll and throw shit. But I guess you interact with stuff by pressing circle too? That's weird, but... Where did she say to move this to? Oh, the elevator. Got it. Or, or conduit or whatever that thing is. Could have got it that night we got snack wraps? Yeah, we totally could have, but didn't think about it at all. How do I let go? Circle? Okay. Wait, is that not what I was supposed to be doing? Didn't it say to put it over here? Hello? Game? Maybe yeah, maybe I have to turn to metal and then I have to stand there or something? Uh, can I jump higher when I'm not made of wood? Slightly. I really wish we had the ability to grab, <laughs> like, ledges and things, because holy crap, man. All right, hold on. We got this. We got this. Let go of it. Oh, you think maybe we press it into the force field? Maybe. But I do see metal up here, so I'm going to try grabbing the metal. And then when I'm metal, I'm going to shock the crap out of us. Nope, that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, ouch. That was not fun. Oh, okay, it doesn't it doesn't do anything. Okay, try moving it into this over here. Yep, nope, nothing there. Uh <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. This. There's another thing we can grab here. Maybe if we put this over by the the electric thingy. This looks a little more like something that would actually fit there. Yeah. Okay. Jump higher if I stand on top of stuff. Yeah, I get that, but... Oh, can I walk through here now? I bet I can walk through because I'm metal. Okay, we got this. Oh, that's what you were talking about? Oh, I thought you were talking about the uh, this here with the metal bars. I didn't even see that until <laughs> until I moved it over there. Maybe you just saw that TikTok that blew up with the cop delivering the DoorDash's door. That was a nice one. I'm not a huge TikTok person, as y'all well know at this point, but that one was cute. And I hope if uh, I ever ordered DoorDash and they got arrested, that uh, <laughs> the cop would be nice enough to bring me my food. So I'd be pretty mad, man, if I paid for my food and it never got delivered because some dumbass had a warrant out for the arrest. And then got pulled over while da dashing, like. Shower time. Enjoy your shower, love. Hope it is an amazing one. Okay, now you're in I am going to throw a chunk of wood at you. I don't know how I'm getting chunks of wood from a what looks like stone floor, but <laughs> we don't we don't worry about that there. Semantics, that's what that is. Did I just kick him in the balls? <laughs> is that is that one of my abilities? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Let's give, give him a nice little tap to the balls. I mean, even aliens hate being kicked in the balls, right? That's only reasonable. We could use a bit of health, but honestly, I'm not even worried about it. I feel like if we... If we lose our health, we're just gonna instantly respawn anyways. I mean, I'm not gonna try to test it, but it's probably gonna happen here very soon anyways. Either way... Man, the gameplay slow. I wonder... Oh, no! We got defeated! Okay, so we can actually die as Kevin, but the checkpoint system is very forgiving. Um, but... What was I saying? Oh, I feel like uh, the, the speed run for this could be interesting. Because it seems like it's a game that could be just broken enough to have some cool skips and stuff. But at the same time, there's so many invisible walls and things littered about that I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if there's any skips that would be possible. 
because there are barriers everywhere, man. You can't jump outside of the level anywhere. You can't go back at all. Like, I, uh, I don't know. I need to, I need to look it up and see, see if there is one. Oh my fucking god. Grandmother is so useless about tech. Clueless about tech. She thought that you, an Android user, could FaceTime because we did it with my uncle. So now Nana wanna zoom. <laughs> oh no, Nana, we zoomed. <laughs> I mean, you could teach her... Easier said than done, I know. But you could teach her what, uh... Facebook Messenger is or something like that. So then you can, uh, do video calls with that. At this point, honestly, I think FaceTime is more of just like a, a a generic name, kind of like Kleenex, right? We call tissues Kleenex all the time, even though technically that's just one brand of tissue. And that's kind of what I feel like FaceTime has become at this point. It's the same reason that like uh, Google doesn't want you to say that you Google something. Um, because if the term becomes generic, then other other things can use that term without getting in trouble. Like Chapstick is another example of that. Chapstick is a brand of lip balm, but because everybody just calls it Chapstick, it's it's now doesn't have the same level of protection. It's still partially protected because it's a brand, but not as much as uh, if it wasn't considered a generic term. We are going to die again. Google has a FaceTime thing available on both of us. Yeah, they do. It's a... Uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but I've done it before. <laughs> what is it called? That's going to bother the crap out of me now, Nate. I don't remember. <laughs> And this is where we die. We need, we need... Oh no, there's nothing. No, no absorby thingies. <laughs> I guess we just have to kick these guys' asses organically. We're probably gonna die. Yep, there it is. Dead. <laughs> Google Duo, that's it. Yep, yep. I knew it was a thing. I just couldn't remember what the hell it was called. Also, this section's actually kind of hard, man, because these dudes hit hard. And since we don't have the ability to grab any sort of power up here, we're kind of, uh, we're kind of screwed here. That reminds you got blasted on Reddit because you didn't know BSOD isn't total death anymore. You can actually recover from it now. Like, excuse me, people, it's called the blue screen of death. <laughs> I never post on Reddit because I feel like half of Reddit's so toxic. I read a lot of stuff on Reddit, um, but... Yeah, I just, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't partake. It's a great place to get information. Like uh, if I'm looking for something new, like uh, I was looking for a program just last night to uh, do incremental backups of certain data on my computer. And uh, I, I searched for like incremental backup Windows Reddit because I just knew like <laughs> Reddit would have the answer, man. Reddit always has the answer. But yeah, there are a lot of total assets on there too, so. <laughs> and the game just popped up and told me to press circle on things to interact with it. I don't remember it telling me that before, like the first time it had me interact with something. So like, that's odd. A little, uh, a little late to be giving that information over, isn't it? Only three people call them off. Like, hey, dudes, this person isn't a pro. Back off. Yeah. What are you trying to do? Electrocute me? I mean, you're metal. You'll be okay. Little zappy zap. Never hurt. I mean, technically, if you wear a full metal suit, you can survive like any amount of electricity because you create a Faraday cage around yourself. It's like you could be struck by lightning and be perfectly fine, man. People do that with uh, Tesla coils all the time. They'll wear full chainmail from head to toe. Hey Gwen, you reading this? And uh, just stand inside the range of a Tesla coil. And then they can like shoot lightnings out of their hands and shit like that. It's really cool. Right. 
Okay. Right. I was afraid you'd say something like that. This could be painful. So we gotta we gotta short the shit. I think we can handle it. Maybe. No boxes or anything, so what, do we just have to do it with our own body, one by one? <laughs> one circuit at a time? Uh, do we need to do like a certain one? A certain order or anything? Or do we just go from one to the next? Why can't I grab it? Can I grab this one? Nope. True, but for him it's not a suit, it's his actual body. I mean, fair, <laughs> but like... <laughs> okay, so it didn't even let me grab the, the other ones, though. It would only let me grab the one we need to grab. <laughs> it makes me wonder, like, if we put the game on the harder difficulty, would just the combat have gotten harder, or would the puzzles and things have gotten a little bit harder, too? Because, like, not even giving us the opportunity to screw up seems like a bit much, man. Little too hand holdy, maybe. Like right now, I am pressing circle, I promise you. And like the exclamation points up and everything, it looks like we should be able to do it, but it won't let me do it on those ones. Maybe they're not technically powered at the moment? I mean, they weren't sparking like the one that it let us grab, so maybe, maybe that's the shtick, I don't know. Seems like a, an excuse to me. Oh, that water texture there looks amazing. You see that? <laughs> that's uh, that's some water there. Let me tell you. You are what you touch, or at least I am. You are what you touch, or at least I am. How freaking cheesy can you be, man? Oh, second wave. And we're invincible. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm getting a little bored of the Kevin section, I gotta be honest. The only, the only real bonus of the, the Ben 10 section, the main part of the game, was being able to switch between all the different characters. All the different aliens. With Kevin here, you can't really do that. I mean, you got the different elements that you can become or whatever, but outside of the puzzling, it doesn't seem to really make any difference on the, the combat and the gameplay. We got a 16 combo though. I feel like uh, that's not terrible. Also, grab the actual metal, bro. What are you doing? I feel like this was meant to be a little more puzzly at some point, right? Like, otherwise, why have all of these things and why program the exclamation point to pop up and, and all that if you're not gonna let people use any of them but the right one at any given time anyways. So I feel like it was meant to be a little bit harder, a little bit more puzzly, but then some executive somewhere was like, no, 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 we gotta make this easy for the kids, man. Gotta head off. Nana's going to bed. So you have to as well, right, otherwise you'll keep her up. That's fine. Down. I'm glad you were here, Rue. Appreciate you stopping out while you could, man. And uh, see you again in a couple days, hopefully. Your review before you go. Game seems like a cash grab, but it's interesting because you can switch between characters, but doesn't have a good quest marker when it's needed. More story, less level. Yeah. Yeah, as a start. I think it's going to need more work than that, yeah, but as a start, totally history. agreed. Thanks, anyway, have a good, good night, work. Rue. I'll see you later, man. And now we get to play through the same level again, but this time as Ben 10. <laughs> Smash everything. Every object you break can provide you with DNA. <laughs> DNA D. Chrono crystals and even Omnitrix points. Guys, we can get Omnitrix points by smashing stuff. How cool is that? Smash all the fences and everything else. Honestly, I just do not feel I have the time to go around smashing everything in this game. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but your game isn't that interesting to me that I feel the need to go around smashing literally everything. I hardly want to do that sometimes in games that I enjoy. Like, what makes you think I'm going to do it in this game? It just gets a little old and repetitive having to do that sort of stuff all the time. 
Oh, actually, before we get too deep into the Ben 10 section, though, now is a perfect time, I think, to take our break. We're running a little bit behind on it, but better late than never, I suppose, right? So we're going to switch over to the break scene and uh, roll an ad real quick, and then we'll be back for another, like, half hour or so of Ben 10. Fast. Get last name Baller? Hell yeah. You can't get any cooler than that. We were born in... How far does this go? Like, how far forward or back? Can I be born in 2420? Oh, no, it wraps around. Crap. I was born in the 1900s. <laughs> I am over 100 years old, man. Uh, my number... I mean... I'll give you one guess what number we're going to be. <laughs> um, I don't know who any of these people are, really. I mean, I know who Shaquille O'Neal was. that Jay O'Neal? Kobe Bryant, I know who that is. That's fine. I will be conservative. Yoshi. Yoshi's definitely our nickname, man. <laughs> our name's Basketballer. I love it. That's great. Yeah, no, Basketballer. That's That's it. Our face is... Oh, wait, what? Oh, I had a load. Is there just like a full beard? Doesn't look like it. We're going to have... Uh, where's just the chops? Yep. No shape, sure. This is all fine to me. <laughs> Dude, that, that looks freaking terrible. Oh, man. Look at that. He's so jacked up top. Somebody's definitely been skipping leg day. <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh, man. We're just going to be... Hell yeah. Here we go. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. All right, we got 400 points to spend. Yeah, I googled it again before you were saying to double check. I'm surprised and the announcement for Slim's release are probably commercial, I remember. Same with the getting the Fatboy PS2 first, yeah. I've told the story before, but my mom just kind of randomly brought it home to me one day. I don't remember why or what for or anything like that, but she brought it home to me with Sly Cooper, man, and yeah, I fell in love. Okay, so there's a lot of different stuff to put your points. Oh no, it, it's it's uh, it's rotating around. Okay, I thought there was just like one giant list here. Uh, so we want the rebounds for sure. I'm gonna put a good few points into that. Say uh, 15. I mean, we're going to want a couple points in everything, right? I would imagine. So, uh, let's get the three-pointers all the way up. And then... Ball handling. I mean, I feel like we got to be really good at handling the balls. I mean, look at our massive freaking hands, man. Of course we're going to be good at handling some balls. Don't even play with me. Put 10 in all of the basic stuff. You know, your clutch, your power, speed, stamina. Free throws, we've got to be good at them free throws. Get a good old 20. Steals, yeah, we want to be able to steal. I feel like 300 points is a lot. Got to have some blocks. All right. We are back. Hey, Mr. Noodle, see you're out of your shower now. Hope it was a nice, warm, and cozy shower for you, love. All right, we don't have a whole lot of time left with this game, but we got a little bit. So, uh, let's see how far we can make it, man. I'm hoping we can at least finish this level. I see from the save menu there's a save anywhere feature, but I don't know, like, uh, how precise it is with it. Like, if whenever we save, it saves our exact checkpoint or how that works. What's the, uh, the block for the monkey look like? We'll have to... Oh, he just cowers in fear. Okay, that works. <laughs> It started bad, but it was nice. How did it start bad? Was it just like a uh, cold or something at first, or? Okay, you're definitely blowing like right on him. How were you not freezing that dude? That dude should have been frozen to the freaking bone, man. These guys got entirely too much health. And there's, like, no good dodge in this game. I mean, Ben himself can dodge roll, but nobody else seems to have any sort of dodge or anything like that. So, like, I don't know what they really expect you to do with combat, you know? Like, if they expect you to 
try to be real precise with it or if you're just supposed to beat the hell out of dudes i mean they do have the block but the block doesn't really seem all that useful do the enemies really telegraph their moves i haven't paid that much attention to it maybe you can yeah i mean i guess you can kind of tell whenever they're about to go and then and then block but when people like attack you from off screen and shit like that you can't really uh you can't really block when somebody's attacking you off screen also i just realized that we definitely still take damage when we're ben 10 even when we're blocking so a piece of soap was in the bottom of the tub and you stepped on it and lost your mind <laughs> oh no <laughs> i'm glad you didn't like trip on it or something at least that's that's what really matters right you're okay that's all that matters at the end of the day let me transform do we have iframes when we're rolling i wonder no it doesn't seem like it sadly I still don't... I, I haven't watched the show, so I don't know like what it's uh, like in the show. But I still am kind of put off by the, the way when he freezes someone, they just turn into a giant block of ice. Like, they were able to, in Mortal Kombat, they were able to make individual characters freeze. I feel like they could have done that on a PS2 game, you know? Considering Mortal Kombat came back, or came out... I mean, it was around the Nintendo days when it actually came out, right? It, it was ported to the Super Nintendo first and Sega Genesis. But it came out earlier than that, I'm pretty sure. Underbrush Bash? Sure, whatever, man. We'll take it. Anything you step on scares you now? I'm sorry, love. Just think, sooner or later, you'll forget all about it. Big Cho can use his wings to glide on wind currents. This allows him to get to places that are too high or too far for other characters to reach. Okay, I'm glad they're adding some extra little elements to the to the game. Um, that didn't work, <laughs> like at all. What the hell? Everybody where uh, where was that at? The air currents at? I always wanted to say that. That's cheesy as hell. Okay, so, oh, I guess we just weren't far enough into the air current for it to trigger? I don't know. I totally feel like we did it right the first time, but I guess not. Oh, we literally can't fall down here. <laughs> can't go back down there even if we wanted to. Okay, that was a death pit. It pointed down. I thought we were going down, but uh, I guess Everybody we weren't supposed freeze. to yet. At least not, uh, at least not I straight down. To say that. Okay, try this again. Be a little more careful where we jump down at, I suppose. Maybe we should use the spider monkey. We'll do that. Because, I mean, I see the vines on the wall. I just thought, you know, why not just jump down? Especially since it was telling us to go down. I didn't realize that it was going to kill us for doing so. Would have been nice to know. At least they're using the different characters and their abilities in the levels, right? They could just, like, completely ignore it. So. Press circle to change to Jet Ray and enter the water. Press circle to change to Jet Ray. And enter the water. Right Come back later as Jet oh, okay. Why did it pop up with a tip telling us to do that? when we can't do that yet. Seems a little out of place. Also, why are we just running around? There's no enemies. Or, oh, well, spoke too soon. <laughs> like, there's no enemies or anything. It just has us jumping around uh, or walking around the level here, fighting nothing, doing nothing. But, uh, okay. I guess we were just, we were too impatient, man. Patience is a virtue and we need to learn it. You would think, like, whenever you shoot them with your, your spider silk 
your your butt silk. <laughs> you would think they would get a little uh a little more stunned or something like that. But it doesn't seem to have any real effect on them outside of dealing a tiny bit of damage. I hope at some point we can power up our breath to freeze more than one dude at a time. Because it feels like we should be able to use it as like an AoE thing, right? Because especially like we can con keep just blowing our breath and blow it around in a circle for a moment. But uh, it won't actually let us do that whenever we're close enough to someone to use it on. As soon as you use it on them, it seems like it just kind of stops instantly with it. So, I don't know. Uh, another new move, huh? Uh, kick flip. Go. I feel bad for Gerard the Completionist. For anybody that watches him. I couldn't imagine having to uh, complete every game you play. Like, I would love to finish every PS2 game. I would totally be into that, but like 100% completing them all. There's just, there's a lot of bad games out there, man. Or, or not so great games, let's say. Because like, uh, playing through this game once, I feel like would be enough of a punishment. To then have to replay through a bunch of levels to try and collect and do absolutely everything. That just sounds like actual torture. <laughs> like, I am getting, I'm getting tired playing this game. It is just, uh... It's proving to be incredibly repetitive so far. And that's bad, considering we've been playing the game for uh, not even two hours yet. So, <laughs> like, yeah. We're going to have to look and see before we actually quit for the night how long this game is. Because if it's more than, like, six hours, I am going to be, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be shook. <laughs> Shook it, I say. Press X to jump and then circle to activate Spider Monkey's slingshot ability. Okay. I would love to if you would take me out of this very short cutscene that I'm in right now. Spider Monkey! So, what'd it say? Circle. Very cool. And that was it. Just one, <laughs> one slingshot section. And then guess what, guys? You get to fight more people on this slightly different stage. It's basically the same as the last one. But it has a tree stump where the last one had a rock. It's totally different, guys. I swear. If... <laughs> oh, man. I... I feel like I could honestly fall asleep playing this game. I suffer from uh, insomnia a fair bit. So uh, I think I found a good thing to use to help put myself to sleep at night when I can't when I can't fall asleep. Or all those nights where I just wake up in the middle of the night and absolutely can't go back to sleep. Either one. I'm just going to start booting up Ben 10 Alien Force and, and playing it for a while. I press circle! X circle. Thank you. Okay, nope. I think it wants us to use Mothman now. And it sucks that you have to wait for it to recharge. I understand why they have you wait to recharge. Wait, did it not want us to do Mothman? I'm confused. Um, for like combat reasons and whatnot, but it sucks whenever you get to a puzzle section and need to swap between characters and then you just can't because, you know. So it seems like we can't actually jump toward it and then press circle. We have to just be... We just have to stand still and press circle to do the slingshot. Also, that's got to be an air current. I don't see any other way to get over there. And do you see the shadows totally going... I didn't notice this before. But the shadow applies to every surface beneath us. Even the underside of the platform that we're standing on. And then the the rock face that is underneath a solid platform like there is no reason for a shadow to be down there why <laughs> why is that a thing how did they miss that during testing like man come on ah uh, what i 
I'm getting annoyed. Where is this stupid air current at? Time for a I jumped! I swear to God I jumped. Just gonna monkey around for a while, huh? Yep, yep. Your voice quips in no way would get annoying after hearing them for so many times. I am gonna... This might, this might be where uh, the stream ends, guys. We might not make it past this point in the game. I don't see anywhere else to go. Oh no, not the that dude. That dude can't do shit for us. No, I hit the freaking X button. Okay, deep breaths. We can't, we can't go anywhere else with the monkey. I tried that. It just slingshot us right back above us again. Okay, jump button's working. Am I going too far from the cliff? Maybe I'm going too far from the cliff. Maybe it wants us to stay close. Even though, to me, that rising air current, steam, whatever, looks like it's really far away from the cliff. Yeah, okay. That's, that's all it was. Holy shit. I don't know if it's just because apparently I have a problem with depth or if this game is just trash. But I'm leaning toward it honestly being a uh, middle of the road thing. <laughs> a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B on that one, man. The the game seems like it might just be a little bit of trash. But, uh, I mean, we got to admit that I may not be the best at depth either. Ah, your shield's broke. What are you going to do now? Can't even hit me with your big metal stick thingy. And, oh, ooh, we actually lost a lot of health there. I'm glad every time we transform into an alien, we get a full health bar with that alien. Can you imagine how much harder it would be if it tracked how much health each one had? And stop them. What was that? That must have been one of the uh, combos that we unlocked that I never really, <laughs> never really memorized. Oh, wait. Is this it? Nope. Wasn't it square, triangle, circle? Maybe it's circle, triangle, square? I don't remember. We could just look it up, but where's the fun in that, man? Just hit random buttons until something cool happens. That's the way real gamers do it. Uh, Nova Blast or Swing Shot? Nova Blast sounds cool. Sure, we'll take that. And then since that dude's almost dead anyways, we might as well switch into a new alien. I mean, we could just switch back to that same exact alien. It would be the same thing, but... <laughs> Ooh, okay, that was kind of neat. We, uh... It's not really what I expected from this guy, because I thought his whole thing was, like, fire. But, uh, the whole ground thing's kind of neat, too. Oh, big fireball. That's pretty nice. Too bad, I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> it just seems like it happens whenever we... So wait, did we like power it up at some point or something? Because, yeah, it just seems like it happens every time I come out of the ground. Which is weird, but uh, I'm not complaining. Ow. Eat fireball, how about that? And giant fireball. Yeah, giant fireball. I still don't exactly know the combo that puts us underground. Just being honest here. Hey, more generic looking enemies. I wonder if there will be one wave this time, two waves, or, or hear me out. I know it's a stretch. But maybe there will be three waves of enemies this time. Wouldn't that be cool? Unheard of. Scandalous is what it would be, but imagine the possibilities. Do we get a full health bar every time we transform too? Like Ben 10, ben 10 himself? So the last couple times I've uh, reverted to Ben 10, I can't help but notice that we had a full uh, health bar after dying as the alien and then being forced to play as that flip. Right here, we'll see right here. 
Yeah, I think we do. We didn't technically have a full health bar as soon as we, we started, but I'm assuming that's because uh, we were like in the process of getting hit. Fireball. Fireball is by far the coolest thing yet. <laughs> The, the giant one, not the little ones that we throw out of our hand. I mean, not that little fireballs that you can throw out of your hand aren't cool, but let's be real. Everybody likes the big fireballs, you know? Little fireballs, that's like a, a beginner's trick. A, a year one mage can pull that off, but... Or alien in this game, I guess. You know, gotta keep our, our fantasy right here. Don't want to confuse the genres. I don't know if there's bosses in the game, but so far I feel like you could just get through this whole game mashing square repeatedly without ever needing to worry about doing any combos or anything else. Whenever the character eventually dies and reverts to Ben 10, I suppose you'd have to be a little bit more careful, but... Triangle, circle, square. Triangle, circle, square. Triangle, circle, square. Do it fast. Okay, we gotta do it. Well, doing it fast is the underbrush bash. Did I misread what the combo was? I could have swore that's what it was. Oh, okay. Cutscene, I guess. Field, Tennyson. You're gonna have to make your way across the tops of those pillars to get into the dragon paddock. And while you're at it, try not to get fried. Wait, why can't why can't he get through it? Is it because of the water underneath or whatever? I'm guessing it's because of the water underneath or whatever. Kevin can't go under it. But it doesn't matter because guys, our two hours is up. And uh, some nights I'm willing to go a little bit extra, but honestly, unless we get to that point someday where I'm able to do this full time and, and henceforth complete, or I'm sorry, finish every PS2 game, unless that day comes, I think I'm done with Ben 10 Alien Force on the PS2, man. Uh, the only way I could see this being any, any fun for extended periods of time, excuse me, would be uh, playing this with like a, a buddy co-op uh, co or something like that that's the only way i can see doing it because it is uh <laughs> it's not that great but uh yeah so that that's all we're gonna do tonight we'll be back to not wednesday thursday we'll be back thursday with another random ps2 game uh to add on to the ps2 gauntlet list and i hope to see you all there for the everybody who showed up mr noodle nate uh doris man doris lady of course rue of course um, thank you all so much for being here. Anybody else who just kind of chilled and, and, and talk and chat or whatever, I appreciate you all too. And I hope to see you guys on Thursday night. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.